And for that, the government will in the next three months embark on an ambitious plan to curb road accidents in the country. President William Ruto has directed Roads Cabinet Secretary Kipchumba Murkomen to introduce new measures, among them instant fines to those abusing traffic laws. A similar attempt was initiated eight years ago where offenders paid instant fines using mobile money. Kisewa Emory with the details. In the last four months, at least 1,500 people have lost their lives in road accidents across the country. This stark state of affairs, Kenyans calling on government agencies, given the responsibility to ensure road safety, to take action and stop the menace. The government recently reintroducing the National Transport and Safety Authority patrols in a bid to ensure road users are not breaking the law. President William Ruto has now publicly responded to various concerns on the issue, tasking his cabinet secretary, Kipchumba Murkomen, to put in place tougher measures, such as an instant road fine, if that is what it takes, to stop road carnage. We have discussed, we have, to, we have talked about instant fines for a very long time. Waziri, please, instant fines, 90 days is too much time for you to wait. Let's do it. The objective is to reduce road accidents by half. We must be focused on results. We must be focused on results. And the results will be the numbers to come down. The target, as was said by the chair, is to cut down by 50%. The cabinet secretary Kipchumba Murkomen spoke passionately about the need to reduce road accidents that continue to devastate families and the national economy. The statistics are very, very, very uh, uh, grim and actually very telling of the very terrible behavior we have as citizens of this country. To be losing between 4,000 to 4,600, the highest was 2022, uh, 4,600. And if we had gone at this rate in this year, perhaps we were going to surpass that number. Last year, 4,200 people passed away as a result of road accidents, with 20,000 critically injured. The matter has attracted the attention of the National Assembly, with MPs agreeing in principle that action needs to be taken, but disagreeing over how that action will be taken. This organization known as N NTSA is sleeping. I think NTSA is sleeping because even the Minister for Roads is also sleeping. The Cabinet Secretary for Roads is simply a noisemaker all over the place, making noise on Twitter, making noise on Facebook and everywhere, and showing, showing us how he's living a good life. Mulete mofisa ambao ni wazuri wataka barabarani kwa kisha kuamba wanasimamisha gari na kumshitaki dereva kwa haki. Siku mshitaki tu kwa sababu wamekuja wataka shingi miambili, hamekuambia hana unamshitaki. NTSA has been running a nationwide campaign, dubbed Usalama Barabarani, aimed at reducing road accidents in the country. Kisawa Emory, TV47.